This is a match a lot of people have been waiting for. Debbie Combs defending her WCW title against the number one rated challenger, Donna Day. Donna Day has been waiting for six months for this challenge, and she is going after De Debbie Combs right from the start. Donna Day feels that she has all the ingredients to win the WCW World's Championship. Debbie Combs has held the title for quite a while. Donna Day feels she's the number one challenger. She's ranked number one. She feels she can win it. Debbie Combs' manager, of course, is her mother, the legendary Cora Combs, former world champion, at ringside with her protege, her daughter. Donna Day just roughing up the champion. I've rarely seen Debbie Combs being roughed up so much by an opponent. Donna Day going right after her and controlling this match right from the start. Donna Day having a running commentary with Cora Combs outside the ring. Side headlock. This large crowd here tonight is pro Debbie Combs. They love their champion. Takedown by Donna Day and she's holding on to that headlock. Referee Drew Tassell warning Donna not to use the hair on the takedowns. Donna, of course, denying everything. Debbie Combs getting to her feet. Donna Day grinding that side headlock in. Oh, slams her down. Good power move by Debbie Combs. Very good. Donna, of course, complaining. Donna complains about everything. I think she gets up in the morning, looks in the mirror and complains. Debbie Combs just stalking her opponent. Armbar. Twisting it. And Debbie Combs now is going after Donna Day. Armbar very, very painful on the elbow. She is really grinding it in. Pulls down Donna Day with a little aid with her strap. I guess what the referee doesn't know won't hurt him. Debbie Combs fights fire with fire. If you want to play tough with Debbie, she'll play tough with you. And Donna Day started off very, very rough. And now Debbie Combs is coming back and giving Donna some of the same medicine. Donna just never stops talking. The referee threw Tassel accusing Debbie of pulling hair. Debbie is denying it. Actually, I don't think she pulled the hair. She pulled the strap of her suit. Donna Day complaining about everything. I wouldn't want to be the referee for this match. World's title at stake and Donna Day in with the hammerlock. Tremendous amount of pressure in a world's title match, and Debbie Combs has three or four title matches a week. You can imagine the pressure every day on the world's champion. Everybody wants the coveted belt, the money and the prestige that goes with it. And tonight is Donna's opportunity for that belt. The, oh, beautiful reversal. Debbie Combs just booting Donna Day halfway across the ring. Donna complaining about that one. That one hurt. Debbie Combs, tremendous technical background. Her mother being world champion. She's been a wrestler for 12 years. Just great, great technical background. She's a rough, tough individual. That's why she's a title holder, and that's why she's held the belt for such a long period of time. Front chancery. Another control hold, but something which Debbie can go into various kinds of maneuvers from. Backstay into the corner. Oh, slugs her with the right elbow. And again. Donna Day just reeling from that down. She goes on snap mares, and she's snap marrying her by the hair. Into the ropes, whip across the rope. Donna Day comes off. Double lariat! They both went down. I don't think I've ever seen a double lariat. Both wrestlers are down. They're both hurt. Unbelievable. Donna Day and Debbie Combs are both hurt. The referee is counting. I don't know who is going to be get to their feet first both are really stunned Donna Day just about ready to get up and she is hurting Debbie Combs fell backwards Donna Day coming after Debbie right now Debbie 
might be at the weakest point of the match. Debbie backs her into the ropes. Mr. Mutt and Mr. Jeff here in the audience. Who says beer shouldn't be allowed in a wrestling audience? Snapmare. Debbie calls another snapmare by the hair. Oh, ooh, right hand down goes Donna Day, and Donna Day goes bye bye. Debbie Combs starting to move in with the heavy fireworks, and Donna Day goes south. Not a bad logistic move to get out of the ring when the going gets tough. Debbie seemed very fired up, and Donna Day wanted no part of her. Donna Day regrouping her thoughts now. Referee counted to 18, so Donna almost got counted out. Oh! Debbie charges it down, goes Debbie. Nice move by Donna Day, suckered her in. The match I thought I'd never see. Nikki Monroe against, yes, versus Klondike Case. Something happened at the end to end this friendship. They've got a score to settle now. And they're fighting each other. Two falls, two submissions, or the knockout to decide. And already Nikki's starting to command this match. On top already. Well, threatening to put the boot in, and this this is the thing. Do you think she can stick to the rules? Certainly not used to sticking to the rules, but she'd have to behave herself now. She's actually too hot, Robbie. She won't stick to the rules. She'll put the boot in somewhere. Nikki Monroe, the good-looking girl from Bournemouth. She looks at the referee. That's the end of round one. So what? What did happen, Paula? What happened to cause this match to take place? You mean to tell me you don't know? I don't know. You're actually asking me something? You heard no uh, back dressing room chat? No one's told me anything. I've been back to the dressing room area. No one's speaking. What went on? Ah, uh, well, this is the beauty of me being a woman and allowed in the ladies' dressing room. Mind your own business. <laughs> Round two, then. But I can tell you this much. It was that bitch Nicky Monroe's fault. Well, we'll certainly have to find out exactly what went on there. I'll try and find out and let you know a little bit later in this match if we can find out. What do you mean if you can find out? You were there on the night. I was there on the night, but I don't know why these two have fallen out now. They were in tag team formation. They performed well together, all action style, and suddenly she turned against her partner. Well, they were both disqualified. Is that what you mean? Because they were disqualified. No, because it was Nikki's fault. Kate was disqualified. Nikki was disqualified. The team collectively was thrown out of the ring. I'm telling you, it was Nikki's fault. And this is the reason for this match now. And Kate's going to kill her. And actually, I had a word with Kate in my dressing room. And what did she say? She is going to kill her. And I said, if that be the case, do it. In style, Kate. In style. Now, Nicky Monroe will have other ideas, of course. She really have got a match on her hands with these former tag team partners. Obviously, they're going to know each other's moves. They're going to know each other's style. What can you do to take the other one by surprise? Plowing him with the fist there, referee Chico Rob was not liking that. It didn't hurt Kate, it didn't hurt her at all. She'll be up. She gets a public warning for it. She deserves it. But Kate, very tough. It does take a lot to uh, hurt this lady. So she's got the fist up now. I don't think it's only up in self-defense, though. She's not, she's nowhere near her. She's not touching her. But surely, she's in self-defense. Surely she just put the fist up and saying, don't come near me or else. The fist up there for protection. 
I don't think so. To prove that she can mix it as well. Nick is quite prepared to wrestle, but will Kate give him a chance? Nick is not prepared to wrestle. Now that was a fist right in front of us here. We saw that. I didn't see it. Well, you wouldn't, would you? No, I wouldn't. You forget. I'm going to tag with um, Klondike Kate. Well, but I don't care if you want to that. Oh, yeah, you tag with her, so maybe you're on the same side now. But surely you can see now we're watching it here at ringside. But when the fists go in, that's not allowed. Listen, are you trying to say that she's been dirty? I'm oh, wrestling dirty. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I'm telling you, she's just a very excitable wrestler, that's all. Nothing more. She's very experienced, she's got the power. She's got the strength. She doesn't need all these underhand tactics. Actually, it's not underhand, it's a part of the hand. Look, the biting as well. She's winning absolutely no friends here. They're both into the ring, both out to get each other. You can see, she's number one. Yes, 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 Kate, go on, you tell them all. Do you think she's bothered about friends? The only thing she's bothered about is a pocket. Give me the money. Send in the girls, I'll kill them. Give me the money. Winning at all costs. At all costs. The problem is, though, she doesn't have like this with everybody she tags with. She didn't have no partners left to go into tag team action with. Now, you're all about the time she can win on her own, right? She can win on her own. Against two people. I see, I didn't even have to tell you that, did I? She didn't have a posture on it, And you did forget one thing. What was that? She's got me. And I'm a true... Friend, true tag partner. I would turn my back just because we we didn't win. So again, it's all Nicky's fault for oh yes for squealing for being for getting out from a lane. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen or the ring, as the case may be. Off the back breaker. Yes. That's the first score. Oh, she broke it. That's the first score of the master on that case. This excitable lady from the potteries now lives in Liverpool and travels over a thousand miles a week to a full engagement. And there's Nikki from Bournemouth. Just how much damage has been done to the back there? She seems okay. She can take the knocks. She's got a lot more to take yet before the bounce finished. And a pressure point hold there just by the neck. Kate's got fingers like the norm and she'll never get out of that. Whenever Kate enters the ring, she always goes into her favourite tune, Another One Bites the Dust. I think that's a fitting piece of music to go into the ring by. Absolutely. And she goes in with the attitude, they are going to bite the dust. Very clever little kick there that we almost missed from Nikki. Well, you don't miss much, do you, hey? There we go again in the ropes. You thought she would have learned the first time not to get too close to those ropes. Now, can you see that Chico allowing her to get away with that? Well, he's having... Blatant fists. He's giving her a warning about it. Referee Chico Roberts warning not to go in the fist, of course, not allowed in wrestling. I'm not giving her a public warning, it was a private warning. She'll have that smirk right off her face when she gets out of those ropes. She was spitting ivory for a week. They call Blondike hell in boots, but she is in trouble. Not for long. You know what they say? I'll have no fear. Well, what's being caught in the ropes there cuts off the circulation to the arm, so that's going to be painful in itself. And Monroe goes over, back in the other side. 
Oh, you sound pleased about that. Well, don't you think there's a bit of just desserts going on here? No, I most certainly don't. As I told you, it was that bitch's fault in the first place. But it's Kate here that's doing most of the skullduggery, most of the side tactics. You just don't like Kate, do you? I'm just trying to be fair. Obviously, you're going to be on her side right throughout this match. What do you mean, obviously? It what? wasn't her fault in the beginning. She's offered a hand there, a hand of friendship. So what's Nikki supposed to do now? Does she shake hands? Take the hand. Take the hand to be partners again, good partners. But is Kate up to one of her plans? We know how clever and how cunning and sly. What do you mean, sly? She is. She's cunning, she's sly, a real vixen of the ring. She has a plan. I'm sure she has a plan. I hope you realise that when she gets out of that, that ring, I'm going to tell her exactly what you said. At the end of that round. Can you please start my car so I can make a big getaway? But what can you do? Nicky Von Rowe not entirely certain how to handle this match. And look, straight across she comes. That's smack girl. Go into it, girl. That's the hand. Go for the kill. The hand of friendship. That was a, that was a foot of death. She actually refused the hand, so she got the order of the boot. No second chances then with Klondike Cage. You get one chance to shake hands. Nicky's in trouble. Nicky just back from a recent tour of Berlin. She did very well over there. I'm pretty certain she's regretting coming back to these shores. Oh, no doubt about that, I can assure you. Both these girls very experienced, been in wrestling nearly 10 years, started very, very young. And what can you do against someone you know so well? Getting the full leverage with that leg. Referee Chica Roberts right there and should hit him on road. Break the arms, break the arms, Kate, break them! Neat move there. Lucky move, lucky move, lucky move. Lucky move, she planned that. Down on the cover. Down on the TV. And she's got it. She hasn't got it. A foot was under the rope. Hey, I didn't see it. Oh, no, you wouldn't. I didn't see it. Right, we'll have another look at it then. We'll have a look and see if we can spot the foot. The foot was under the rope. The referee's happy with it. And that's all that counts. And Nicky Morrow gets the equaliser by way of a fall cover press. Yeah, she cheated on it. Right, let's just have another look then and see if you can...